you want to read the battery sensor data for the C and the S class. The vehicles are different and so is the process in star diagnosis. So you click your way correctly through the program, watch both vehicles and the different approaches as a comparison. Start with the C class. Open the hood. Put on the fender cover and connect the charger to the jumper cable connection. Now turn on the ignition and connect star diagnosis. Select the model series and type of your vehicle. When you've read the safety instructions, always be sure to follow them. In the selection, click on Complete Vehicle. Then click on Power Supply and Continue. Confirm that you've read the safety instructions. Click Continue to get to the Expert Mode. Confirm this too. Wait until the communication is set up with Star Diagnosis in the vehicle. Then select Battery Sensor and the Actual Values tab. On the Battery Sensor page, go to Behavior of the Closed Circuit Current. Select Last Data Record and the latest data is now shown. Here you see at a glance, the closed circuit current was at minus 11.5 amperes and is so significantly reduced. This can have several reasons. Terminal 15C was active. This means that the key was in the electronic ignition at the time the record was saved. In addition, the hazard warning lights and the standing or parking lights were on. Therefore, it's not a system, but an operator error. Double-check the indicated total distance traveled. This should match the route in which the customer complaint occurred. Don't forget to read the Bus Keep Awake unit. Here there are no entries. In this case, a control unit did not keep awake the CAN bus and did not discharge the battery. Now the battery sensor data of the S-Class is next. Prepare the vehicle for the connection with Star Diagnosis. Start the unit and follow the first instructions. Select the menu Main Groups of the Control Units. Click on Body and then click on Onboard Power Supply. Now a connection is made between the unit and the vehicle. Wait until actual values appear and confirm with F3. Then select Behavior of the Closed Circuit Current and confirm Last Record. Here too the last data record shows that power has flowed. The standing or parking light was on. Also a record was saved because the run on time was exceeded. Finally check the bus keep awake recognition unit by leaving the actual values with F1. Here too the last saved entry shows no entry. As in the first case there were no system errors but an incorrect operation of the vehicle. To ensure that your work is done with star diagnosis, the causes are determined.